What's up guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through the Nugget Bridge, and I believe Route 26, I believe, I can't really remember, but we battled a lot of trainers. And I mean a lot, a lot of trainers, because, well... Yeah, <laughs> it's actually Route 24, 25. Anywho, uh, yes, so in this episode right here, we're going to be going to Route 5 and all the way to Vermilion City. And along the way, we're going to be doing quite a few things. Now, off screen, I did do a little something right here. I did take out Tornado because I believe now it's time for me to move on from Tornado. And I did include Hydra into this team, not because, well, I'm going to be switch training this Pokemon, but... Right around Route 5, we're going to be finding some place, you know, in particular, that can actually help us out with training Hydra and all that crud. So, what's going to happen right now is uh, we're going to go right here, and this lady right here is going to be like, these poor people were robbed. We're positive that Team Rocket uh, is behind this terrible deed. Even our police force has terrible with uh, trouble with uh, Team Rocket, and uh, yes, I can't speak, guys. So, talk to these people, and you're like, Team Rocket must have been trying to dig their way into no good. The place looks wrecked. It looks destroyed. And if you talk to this guy, he's like, those miserable rockets. Look what they did here. They stole my TM for teaching a Pokemon how to dig holes. Hmm. That cost me a bundle. It did. Hmm. It did. It really did. Okay. So, as you can see, a Team Rocket member is right here. And what we're going to do right now is we're actually going to be switching it up to Aaliyah. Because, yes, we did take out uh, Tornado. But I'm not going to regret a single thing of what might happen next. So as you can see, hey, stay out. It's not your yard. Huh? Me? I'm an innocent bystander. Don't you believe me? Not really. Okay, so here it is, guys. We're going to be taking on another Team Rocket member. And, well, this Team Rocket member wants to fight us with a Machop. And since we don't have a good old uh, Tornado anymore, we're just going to go with a Thundershock right here. Yes, we're making it difficult for us to actually beat Pokemon, and this guy right here is going with a Karate Chop. That was a critical hit, so let's go straight for a th another uh, Thundershock right here. And just like that, Machop has been defeated, and he's going to be coming out with a Drowsy. Now, Drowsy is a new Pokemon right here that we can actually, well, that we can actually find problems with. It is a Psychic-type Pokemon, and it does have capabilities of using Poison Gas. You know, the fart attack and all that crud. So, what we're going to do is switch train our good old uh, Godzilla, Godzilla, and go straight to Terramon. Now, if there's one thing that Psychic-type Pokemon hate, it's physical attacks. And, well, it disabled the wrong move. So, yeah, we're going to be getting... It's going to get pounded. Yes. So, here goes a Mega Punch. And right now, we're looking pretty good. And, unfortunately, we get ourselves uh, put to sleep right there. Oh, crap. Okay, so it's asleep, but luckily for us, we did buy some awakenings for this particular situation right here. So here we are, we are awake, here comes a confusion attack. And that right there is a huge hit to us. And it, wow, holy crud. Just like that, it just beats our Terramon, holy crud, okay. So let's go straight back to Aaliyah. And we can go for a slam attack right here. And that right there will take care of Drowsy. And just like that, we have won another match. Godzilla grows to level 14. And Team Rocket member is like, stop, I'll give up. I'll, gi I'll leave quietly. Yes, you will. Okay, I'll return to TM I stole. And we get ourselves the TM28, which is Dig. I better get moving. Bye. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and return this to the individual, and he's gonna be like, uh, I figure what's lost is lost. I decided to teach Diglett how to dig without the TM, which is kind of funny. Okay, so what's going to happen next is I'm gonna be going off screen, guys. I'm gonna heal my Pokemon, and I'm gonna get ready for this adventure right here. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys, so I just realized a little something right here, okay? Maybe it's a good idea to have Tornado on the team just for this little situation right here, okay? I figured that we're going to be going to the daycare, and that means a spot is going to be open. So before we go, or before we do anything, we're going to go straight to the Pokemon uh, daycare. Now, what I'm going to do right here is I'm actually going to be putting up some uh, repels because I do not want to get attacked by any Pokemon right now. 
Not not Pokemon that I don't want to be attacked by right now. Well, some specific. But, you know, we just got to get to the Pokemon or the, the, the uh, whatchamacallit, the, this place right here, the daycare. And once you go in here, he runs a daycare. Would you like to, uh, for me to raise one of your Pokemon? Yes, let's go right ahead and go with Hydra right here. So Hydra is going to be there for quite some time, but here's the thing too, guys. If we use the speed button, it will gain a lot of levels. So I don't know how many levels it will gain, but there is a little something that I kind of want to do right here that is going to require a little bit of uh, patience and a lot of speed buttoning. So we're kind of playing with the double-edged sword right here. But, but, I have no doubt that we'll find what we need to find, okay? So I'll be right back with you guys with the thing that I'm trying to find. Come on. Come on. Finally! Okay, so, god dang. So there it is, guys. Our next team member on this team right here is Abra. And after, like, about 20 attempts, this guy finally went through. And as you can see... Abra, the Psy Pokemon. It sleeps about 18 hours a day. If it senses danger, it will teleport itself to safety even if it sleeps. Now, the nickname, obviously, it says it itself. Let's go right ahead and uh, name it Ultra Psycho. Oh my god. You don't know how frustrated I am right now, guys, with this. So, there it is. Okay, you know what? Psycho. How do we spell it? Psycho? Psycho, Psycho. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to, I'm trying to spell it correctly. Good god. All right, here we go, Psy. There we go, okay, so there we go, Psy, go. So there you go, guys, Ultra Psycho. I will be right back with you guys, and I'm gonna show you how many levels uh, Magikarp kinda grew while doing this whole thing, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so as you can see, guys, we're back into the Pokemon, uh, what was it, the Pokemon Daycare, and well, during this whole expedition right here, Hydra grew 8 levels, so right now is at currently at a level 13, so I am not going to get it or anything like that. I'm just going to move on right here, and uh, well, let's go right ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Ultra Psycho, and uh, I may have pressed the teleport button. Good gravy. Okay. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's what happens when you have Ultra Psycho, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so like I was saying... Let's go ahead and take a look at Ultra Psycho, but this time not be too trigger happy. So as you can see, Ultra Psycho, the Abra, is not a physical attacker or defensive person. It is all mental, special, all that stuff, and it is very fast. Pure psychic type Pokemon, and it only has teleport. So, there is a one little thing that I need to check up on. I want to see if it can actually learn a one of these TMs. That way I can actually use it. Because, uh, yeah. And we got Whirlwind right here. I don't know why we have that. Tornado can learn that. TM11. I'm, I'm saving that for Hydra. And nobody can learn it. Let's see. Level f or TM45 is Thunder Wave. I can actually teach that to Ultra Psycho. And here we have Seismic Toss, which Ultra Psycho can learn. The only problem is uh, I kind of want to use it for other Pokemon. But then again, I kind of want to use Ultra Psycho and, and grow it. You know what? I'm going to teach Ultra Psycho Seismic Toss. Do not worry, guys. There is a plan for, you know, the Seismic Toss attack and all that crud. But I'll be, you know, teaching Ultra Psycho the Seismic Toss. That way, it can actually work. Again, Ultra Sci or um, again, Seismic Toss. It's it, it depends on the Pokemon's weight. You know that's the attack right there. I have a Dig right here, which I will teach my Pokemon a little bit later on. So here we are going down into the uh, the basement. There is an individual right there, and I found a full restore by the way. So um, the individual in that section will want to trade you for a Pokemon. Uh, later on in this walkthrough, I'm actually going to show you every single trade that you can get right here. That way, you know, you guys know what to find and all that crud. And, uh, well, here we are in a different section right here into route. I would like to say, hold on, let me take a look at my, my thingy. Let me take a look at my thingy. Hold on. We are in route six. Okay, so let's see. Uh, first and foremost, uh, let's go straight to Godzilla Godzilla. Go right there, and let's go ahead and battle this guy. 
Look at this guy right here. There aren't any many, many bugs out here. Well, no, duh. Okay. So here we go, taking on a bug catcher. And this is perfect, perfect territory for my good old uh, Godzilla, Godzilla. And it grew to level 15 while we were, uh, you know, trying to find this good, uh, this godforsaken, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, yeah, you know who I'm talking about. And yes, look at that. Oh yes, you are burned, finally, for the first time. And unfortunately, there's the burn, and it almost makes this Pokemon faint, and well, you know, because of that string shot attack. And wow, seriously, we get poisoned. Can we catch a break? No, we can't. Okay, so there we go, and uh, well, here comes a uh, Caterpie. So, we're just gonna, you know, we're just gonna keep on battling. Remember, uh, in Generation 1, if you defeat a Pokemon while having a status effect, that status effect won't affect you the next turn. But as you can see right here, we're poisoned and uh, we're slow, so there's uh, gonna be a little bit of a problem right there. And there we go, Caterpie has been defeated. Godzilla is uh, kicking butt right now. And coming out with another Weedle, let's see what we have right here. And let's go. Another poison sting. I think I should just keep the keep it right there. And that almost defeats Weedle. Holy crud. Okay, so let's go again. This is getting ridiculous. Okay, so here we go. Ember attack. There we go. And Ember attack does it. And Godzilla grows to level 16. You know what time it is, guys. And there we go, guys. Our I would like to say this is our first evolution. Holy crud, it's our first evolution in this walkthrough. I would have thought we would have already had something right here. But here it is, guys. We got Charmeleon. Let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Charmeleon, the Godzilla Godzilla. As you can see, fire type Pokemon, a little bit stronger. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon because we kind of don't need this kind of mess right now. So let's go straight for an antidote, give that, and uh, well, let's see, let's go right ahead and what do we do next? Okay, so Godzilla has already evolved, Sir Razor, I've grown it to a level right there, and you know what, let's go ahead and give Ultra Psycho a little bit of a, of a boost right here, because yes, we do need him for the later battles right here, and I'm doing this out of love, leave me alone! Hmm. Wow, that's a that's a pretty strong straight uh, strong statement I should say, and here we have a junior trainer coming out with a weeping bell, and uh, I could defeat it right here, but it doesn't have the proper attack. So let's go straight to tornado. You know what? We're gonna try and get tornado to evolve right here. We are, and well, there's the growth attack, and let's go for a peck. Hopefully this will work, and that one nearly defeats Weeping Bell right there, but here comes another poison attack. Good gravy. Here goes, poison, or peck attack, peck attack does it, peck attack did it, and Ultra Psycho grows to level 9. Holy crud, okay. So, we might see an evolution again? Two evolutions? This is uh, impressive right here, okay. So, again, healing up the Pokemon, and I know that my... I can see that my, uh, my, uh, well, my bag is getting a little full right there, so I'm gonna have to switch out some stuff, and let's go ahead and talk to this base person. I'm training for my love, uh, don't bother me. Okay, so that's, uh, again, a little bit of an odd statement and stuff, and, well, here comes Cubone, and Ultra Psycho is ready to go. But we're gonna be switching it out right here. Let's go straight to Sir Razor just because we, uh, you know, we can. And well, here comes a Tail Whip attack right here. And let's go straight for a Vine Whip now. I good gravy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Seriously. Okay, so that right there kind of just like uh, that kind of surprised me a little bit, and I can see where the issue is lying now. So we're gonna go with Aaliyah. Cubone is a little strong right here, so let's go with a slam attack. And that goes with the critical hit. Here comes a headbutt attack. And Cubone's really wrecking some stuff right here. Now, I can't use any electric attacks right now because, well, you know. And it is a ground type. Holy crud. Okay, so it's, it's weakening me up right here. But here comes a slam attack. And, well, let's see. There we go. Ultra Psycho grows to level, uh, level 10. 
And just like that, we have defeated another trainer right here. <laughs> okay, so thankfully we have Ultra Psycho with us. So we're going to teleport back, and then we'll be back right here for another battle here and there. Okay, so I might have speeded it up a little bit, but here we are in our next battle. And I remember this guy clearly. Yes, he is the only other trainer here with a Magikarp, that, or not a Magikarp, but a Butterfree a Pokemon that he actually evolved and here we have Ultra Psycho opening it up right here so let's go for you know what let's go for Tornado right here because I kinda don't want to mess with the old with, with Godzilla right now and here comes a supersonic now this individual has only t taught one attack to this Pokemon and that is confusion the rest of it is moves like this that's what makes this Pokemon very difficult to actually uh, defeat so I'm gonna go straight to Aaliyah and uh, hopefully, oh wow, that Stunstorm did not affect me, thankfully. And well, here comes a Thundershock, because Butterfree is still a flying type Pokemon. And here comes a Supersonic. This guy goes for good gravy. Okay, yeah, this Pokemon goes for Supersonic Sleep Powder. Look at that; it, it's doing everything, and it's just—it's annoying as heck. So, let's go straight for Godzilla. Holy crud! Okay, so here comes another sleep. Are you serious, man? Come on! Yeah, and it does that. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, my God. This is getting annoying as hell. Yeah, this episode has been getting very annoying very quickly. And there's a stun spore. Let's go right ahead and burn him to the ground. And, uh... Okay. I'll be... I'm gonna rush through this. Okay, so we rushed it, yes. Um, that was very annoying. Very, very annoying, because this guy kept on paralyzing me, kept on doing a whole bunch of crud to me. Yeah, you can tell by the sound of, like, look at that, look at that. Three of my Pokemon are messed up. So, if you guys want to take on somebody, that's the guy. Holy crud, okay, so there we go, wake him up. Holy crud. Yeah, I get irritated real easily when a, when a game just starts spamming the crud out of you, and it's just, uh... I mean, who doesn't? Who really doesn't, okay? So let's move on ahead. We got two more trainers right here. And bam. Let's see what they got. Me? Oh, okay. Well, let's play. Alrighty. So here we go. Taking on a junior trainer, female. And she will be coming out with a Pidgey. And, well, as you can see, Ultra Psycho is still at level 11. I haven't attacked yet. So we're going to go straight to Aaliyah right here. And, uh, well, let's see, here comes a sand attack, which many of you guys already know, blinds you, and it blinded me so, and here comes a gust attack, holy crud, okay, so this, this is getting personal right now, my god, yeah, this is, uh, really getting on my tits right now, holy crud, the trainers here are getting on my tits, and just like that, eat it! Okay, so there we go. Defeated one of them, and now we're going to be going with another Pidgey. So what we're going to do is going to go back to Ultra Psycho. The goal is to evolve them probably here or in the next episode or so. And, well, let's go Let's go straight to Terramon now. We haven't used Terramon in quite some time. It is a Rock-type Pokemon, so this is easy battleground for it. And here comes a quick attack. Not worth it. And here comes a Gust attack. Not worth it. And here comes a rock throw. There it is. And just like that, Pidgey has been defeated. And, well, Ultra Psycho grows to level 12. And Terramon is getting some levels too. So let's go right ahead and switch it back to Ultra Psycho right here. Okay, alrighty. Let's go. And we are not doing anything right now. So let's go straight back to Terramon right here. And Terramon, look at that, and here comes that quick attack right here, and that is nothing right there. So, let's go for a rock throw. Unfortunately, we're not that fast just yet, but here comes the rock throw, which misses. Good gravy. Oh my god, okay, so here comes a rock throw attack. And just like that, okay, we finally defeat this guy. And, well... That's the way the cookie crumbles. We have another victory right here for us. Good gravy. We are, yeah, we are getting our butts kicked right here. Yeah, it gets a little, a little tougher right here. So let's go straight for a potion. 
And that right there recovers my Pokemon. So just the one more. Can't wait to get the super potions. And well, let's go right here. And let's get it. Okay, so huh, you want to talk to me? No, not really. You just looked at me. So let's go right ahead and have another Pokemon battle against the junior trainer male. And here comes Ultra Psycho. Now here we're going up against a Spearows. And these are Pokemon that, you know, we have and kind of don't want to mess with. And here comes that Peck Attack just because of its attack right there. But look at this. A Thundershock comes in, hits it pretty hard. And there goes Spiro. Not bad. And Aaliyah, of course, getting some levels itself. And here comes its Raticade. Now, Raticade is a pretty is a pretty strong Pokemon. It is very, very fast. And it will hit you very fast and very, very, very hard. So, for a Pokemon like Ultra Psycho, where physicality is not its thing, yeah, Raticade, that's where it thrives. But luckily for us, we got a barrier right here in Terramon. Let's go for another Hyper Fang right here. Look at that, it's still hitting us. Not so effective, but here comes the Mega Punch. And that takes half its HP. And, well, that right there, here comes the Mega Punch attack again. And that nearly defeats Raticate. Come on. Mega Punch again. Man, this Pokemon does not want to quit. And, well, there it is. Level 13 Ultra Psycho. And Terramon grows to level 19. So, I guess we're doing good. It's just, holy crap. We, 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 we went through some kind of episode right here. Alrighty, so here it is, guys. We are in Vermilion City. And in the next episode, we are going to be going through a lot because we're going to be going to the SSN and we're going to make a, a big, big splash in there because there's going to be a lot of stuff that we need to take care of. Um, let's see. Click the notification button, the subscribe button. Still trying to get used to all that stuff right there, guys. Um, if you guys want to make a donation to the channel to keep this afloat, yes, the link is on the description. Again, sponsored by Sp by Duffy. If you guys want to take a look at a pre-workout, right there. The link is on the description right there, too. I will see you guys in the next episode as we go into the SSN. See you guys.